9 skills everyone needs but only 3% have. Number 1. Negotiation skill. The world is a marketplace. Directly or indirectly, everyone is either buying or selling something, either product or services. The ability to negotiate is a prerequisite for daily living that only a few possess. While many do not know that negotiation is essential, others have certain misconceptions about the concept of negotiation. Contrary to some misconceptions people have about negotiation, negotiation skill is not required only during a monetary exchange of goods. It affects every facet of life. Medium writer Robert Park once said that we negotiate not only to ensure we are paid fairly but to line up our goals and pave the way forward for building a successful career. Also, many people believe that negotiation has to do with blackmailing people into doing what they want. However, that is a fallacy because negotiation is more about agreement and win-win solution than it is about defeat. Number 2. Listening Skill We live in a world where everyone wants to be heard and only a few people pay attention to what others have to say. We may not admit it, but most times, we only hear others. We don't listen to them. A lot of people, especially young people, have gotten into bad hands. Some others have even attempted and successfully committed suicide simply because the world seems deaf to them. One of the reasons for the mishap that continuously take place around us today is as a result of a lack of this skill. Parents dictate without listening to their words. Teachers instruct and punish without listening to students. The government rule without listening to the plight of the people. Epictetus once said, We have two ears and one mouth, so we can listen twice as much as we speak. Nevertheless, listening is not only the facts for our ear. If we must listen, we must open our hearts. Number 3 effective communication skill. Everyone communicates but not everyone can effectively communicate. Even many of our so-called speakers and writers who seek to inspire and motivate are lacking in the aspect of effective communication. Canadian politician once made a funny but true assertion that most conversations are simply monologues delivered in the presence of a witness. It is indeed a true assertion because communication is a two-way thing. If the listener does not understand the message passed by the speaker, then communication has not transpired. Have you ever said something funny in a room yet nobody was amused? And you start wondering if the joke was actually funny. Well, 60% of the time, it was a funny joke. The joke was not the problem, but the issue is that it was not properly delivered. Communication goes beyond having a rich vocabulary, many words, or an excellent command of a language into knowing your speaker and addressing him or her the way he or she will understand. It entails going into the mind of your potential listener and speaking to it in a way that it resonates. It's about using the right words. Number 4. Hospitality Well. You may be shocked to see this on the list, but hospitality is actually a skill, one which everyone should possess but unfortunately has been sidelined to a particular set of people. It takes a person with empathy to be able to give hospitality. Although many people assume that hospitality skill is only meant for those caregivers in businesses that involve the welfare of others, such as caregivers, nannies, caterers, nurses, etc. However, in the real sense, hospitality is an ability that everyone ought to employ. Hospitality should not be given only when there is something to benefit. It is an act that should be carried out by everyone with empathy rather than selfish motives. Number 5. Leadership Skills A leader is not necessarily a person in the spotlight. Ideally, Everyone can be seen as a leader. You are a leader in your capacity. Most people pay little focus to leadership skills because they believe it is meant only for those in the high ranks. However, it is necessary for everyone to develop leadership capacity 
even the so-called followers. The world will be a better place if everyone understands the need for developing leadership qualities. According to Jim Rohn, a good objective of leadership is to help those who are doing poorly to do well and to help those who are doing well to do even better. This means that if we all take up our roles as leaders in our various dispensations, our communities will be occupied only by those who strive to help others rather than fight for power. From the parents and the other siblings in the home to high school, captains and teachers in school, etc., leadership skill is required. Number six, interpersonal skill. Most people presuppose that communication skill and interpersonal skills are the same. However, there is a difference between them. Although they are both effective if they are applied together, while communication skills are used to convey a message in a comprehensible manner, interpersonal skill is needed to deeply understand and get along with people on a personal level. Now, here is a case scenario that explains the slight difference between those two skills. Let us assume that Mr. A is the manager of a firm and he has other subordinates that work under him. Mr. A wants to pass an instruction. He has been able to learn and develop his communication skills, but he is lacking interpersonal skills. He meets up with his staffs and gives them an explicit explanation and a detailed breakdown of what he wants. His staffs perfectly understand him, but they have their reservations. However, Mr. A is not approachable. And so, they swallow their reservations and force themselves to get the job done the way Mr. A wants. Yes, Mr. A was able to communicate his message to his staffs effectively, but because of his unapproachability, which stems from the lack of interpersonal skills, his subordinates will not carry out the task delightfully, which in turn might lead to errors in the job. This short description shows the need to acquire both effective communication skills and interpersonal skills. Number 7. Adaptability Adaptability skill is a skill that enables people to perform their task accordingly even in the midst of changes. Due to the rapid change of the world system, man has changed his lifestyle to survive constantly. When specific commodities are short in the market, we switch to substitutes we initially do not like. Adaptability does not have to only do with survival, it also involves thriving. Many people lack their skill, that is why little changes in their environment tends to hamper their productivity. Some others, as a result of the lack of ability to adapt to situations, tend to place their comfort at the mercy of other people. Number 8. Observation Skills This has to be the weirdest on the list. However, it is also a vital skill which everyone should learn. Though listening may be classified as part of observation, it is also not all there is to observation. Observation goes beyond mere listening. It involves deriving messages, not only from words, but also from aura, people, body languages, character, signs, and symbols. Observation skills gives you an understanding of the happening around you and also makes adaptability easier to accomplish. Past Roman leader and author of the book Meditations quoted that nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all of that comes from your observations in life. I trust this quote drives home the point. Number 9. Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence is the ability to manage your emotions and the emotions of the other people around you. Emotional intelligence underpins our relationship with others. It is like the fundamental of all the other skills mentioned above, as it is needed to carry them out properly. Emotional intelligence is the ability to identify, use, understand, and regulate emotions. If you look closely at the list, you'll observe that all these skills are intertwined with each other and are vital for our daily activities. First, they are not for professionals or a selected few. 
they are for everyone and there is a need to learn and deploy them as much as possible.